Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another episode of Chart Watch, where we look at the UK album charts, just looking at a couple of stats, depending on what's interesting, what's coming in and out of the chart, and then look at some new releases that I'll be covering myself, or you might be interested in knowing more about. So let's dive in to the UK album charts for this week, which is week 41. Now, I just want to focus really on number one this week. Number one, which has gone straight in at number one, is by an artist called Paul Heaton and Jackie Abbott. And the album is called NK Pop. Now, it sold 19,597 copies, of which 18,874 were physical releases. That is, 96.31% of all the sales for this album were physical. I can break that down even further for you and tell you that of that 19,597, 15,420 were on CD. Just let that sink in. 2,763 were on vinyl, 691 were on cassette, 487 were downloads, and the streaming aspect came out at 236. So without those CD sales, they would not have been number one. In fact, they wouldn't have been anywhere in the top 20 or even made it to the top 30, I wouldn't have said. So for example, to give is the last week, Slipknot were number one. This week, they are number 41 in the charts. And to get to number 41 in the charts is basically 2,074 sales. And another example for you is the Colt, of, um, who are described here as a veteran rock quartet. Um, in the Music Week chart. They've gone straight to number 15 in the charts. I don't know the breakdown here of how many were physical sales, but I'm gonna presume that it's high. But the sales there to get to number 15 was 3,492. Okay, so I know a lot of you are kind of like amazed at how low the numbers are to get into the album charts. So the best way of kind of summing this up is to look at it on a monthly basis, really, and to think about singles. Now, singles, um, the best-selling single of like this of last month, September, was 225,000, so nearly a quarter of a million. So it is tracks where we're at, really. Um, I can tell you, though, for albums, because I mentioned Muse and that did my first episode of Chart Watch, that over the, over the course of September, um, Muse's Will of the Power sold 60,704. So collectively, it, it builds up. Um, Will of the People, as I said, was 60,704 sales for the whole of September so far. So it's still selling now. But what I want to point out is that of those 60,704 sales, 49,759, shall we just call that 50K? were physical copies. So literally 50,000 out of 60,000 were physical CD or vinyl copies. So for the album pal, and for rock people, or oh, it's not just rock people, is it? There's a huge audience out there that just love to buy physical albums. Someone also asked me, well, how does, a stream, how does streams work out to be a sale? This is really, really complicated. Um, it's basically, for a single track to be a single, a, a record, is 100 to 1. So 100 streams equals one sale. That's for people who pay for Spotify. If they don't pay for Spotify and they just listen to it without being a subscriber, it takes 600 streams to create one sale. Think about that. That's because people who pay their £16 a month or whatever it is to Spotify, some of that money is going to the record companies uh, and hopefully to the artists. We know that needs to be looked at. It really, really does. However, but that's how it works. So 100 to 1 if people are subscribers to Spotify and 600 to 1 if they are not. So I'll go into more detail on this if you want to know how they work out an album sale, but but... It's quite convoluted, but that's that just gives you an idea on single tracks. In fact, next time I do one of these, I'll, I'll, I'll break down how an album works out becoming a sale through streaming. But anyway, let's move on now to some new releases. And these are physical things. Well, they all are the ones I talk about, but they really are ones I'm going to cover. There is Celtic Frost Dance Macabre, which is a luxury set of this extreme metal band looking at 1984 to 1987. 
Hard Meat, uh, a prog kind of hard rock band from the early 70s that some of you will never have heard of, but they're well worth exploring. Jubilee Bells, 50th anniversary um, orchestral set. Eddie and the Hot Rods, singles collection. Vicious Rumours, um, with the reviews already on the website for this. Sammy Hager, The Circle. Alice Cooper, live album. And of course the Dead Daisies with uh, Radiance. So those are things that are, that's, that are coming up that I've, I've got, my, got my eye on. And there's some other things as well. But I just wanted to keep this quite short. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And thank you to all my subscribers and especially my patrons. And especially big thanks to Clive, Yogi, Chris and Andy for all your support. Thank you for sharing my stuff. And it's great to see the subscriber count going up across the board and, um, and, and across all of the channels that we're on. And also the website getting nearly 85,000 views last month. Yes. So thank you. Take care. Keep spinning those records. Keep supporting the music. And as again, as I've said so many times, music is the healer. It really is the doctor for the times we find ourselves in. Take care. I shall see you on my next video.